I tested both tools side by side, and Void Strap actually gives more FPS than Block Strap in Roblox. So, if you're struggling with lag, FPS drops, or stutters, this guide will show you how to unlock your full CPU power, apply secret Void Strap fast flags, and boost Roblox like never before. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for optimization of your ping while you're playing Roblox. Using a wired or wireless connection, get this paid program for free from my description and enjoy your game with lower ping. Step 1. Use all CPU cores for better Roblox performance. To make Roblox run better, we need your computer's CPU processor to work at full power. Sometimes, Windows doesn't automatically use all of your CPU's cores, so in this step, we're going to manually turn that on. First, press the Windows key and type System Configuration in the search bar, then click to open it. Once the window opens, go to the Boot tab at the top, then click on Advanced Options. A new window will appear. Check the box that says Number of Processors. This allows you to choose how many CPU cores you want to use. From the drop-down list, pick the highest number available. That number is the total number of CPU cores, or threads, your system has, and we want to use all of them. Click OK, then click Apply, and then close the System Configuration window. This change tells Windows to allow Roblox, and all your apps, to use your entire CPU. This means less lag, faster loading, better FPS, and an overall smoother experience when playing Roblox. Step 2. Make Roblox use CPU better with Run with Affinity tool. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now that we've unlocked all your CPU cores, let's make sure Roblox actually uses them. We'll do this using a small program called Run with Affinity. Start by opening the Run with Affinity tool. Inside, go to the tab called Affinity. Click the three dots to open a file browser. This lets you find and load Roblox's main launcher. Now, go to the folder where Roblox is installed. Usually, the file you're looking for is called robloxplayerlauncher.exe. Select it and click Open. Once it's loaded into the tool, look at the section that says Set Affinity. Choose the highest number in the list. That number represents all the CPU threads your PC has. By selecting the biggest number, you're telling Roblox to use every bit of CPU power it can. In the shortcut name box, type something like High Performance Roblox so you'll remember what this is for. Then, under the Run dropdown, select Maximized. This ensures Roblox starts in full performance mode. Click Create Shortcut to place a new custom Roblox icon on your desktop, or click Run Program to launch Roblox with these settings immediately. From now on, make sure to always use this new shortcut to get the FPS boost and lag reduction. Step 3. Use Void Strap Fast Flags for maximum Roblox. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Void Strap is a powerful tool that lets you apply special settings to Roblox known as Fast Flags. These flags are like hidden switches that control game performance, visuals, and responsiveness. First, download Void Strap from the FPS Boost Pack. Once downloaded, double-click the installer and follow the steps to complete the installation. Once installed, search for Voidstrap in the Windows Start menu and open it. Inside the Voidstrap app, click on Settings, then go to the Fast Flag Editor Settings section. Click the Add New button to get ready to add new performance settings. Now, open the text file from the Boost Pack folder called Best Voidstrap Fast Flags. These are pre-made Fast Flag settings made specifically for boosting Roblox FPS. Even if you have a low-end PC, these flags are safe and helpful. Copy all the text from the file and go back to Voidstrap. In the Import JSON section, paste the text you copied, then click OK. If a message pops up asking for confirmation, click Yes to save and apply the settings. Now, just close Voidstrap and launch Roblox. You should immediately see higher FPS, lower lag, and better responsiveness, perfect for smoother gameplay. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping for Roblox. So first download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. 
Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one, or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Roblox or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 4. Use Throttle Stop to improve CPU speed. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Throttle Stop is a small app that helps your CPU stay fast and consistent while playing games like Roblox. It prevents the processor from slowing down unexpectedly. First, go to the Tools folder in your Boost Pack and open the Throttle Stop folder. Find the file named throttlestop.exe and double-click to open it. You'll see different power profiles like Performance, Game, Internet, and Battery Mode. Choose the Game Profile. Then make sure the box for High Performance is also checked. Now look around the window for settings called Clock Mode, Set Multiplier, and Speed Shift. You don't need to change those. But do check the box called Disable Turbo. This helps keep your CPU from overheating or slowing down randomly. Now click the Turn On button, and then click Save to apply everything. Leave Throttle Stop running in the background while you play Roblox. It will help keep your CPU stable and working at top speed. Step 5. Use MSI Utility to improve communication between hardware. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. This step will help your graphics card and processor talk to each other more efficiently using a tool called MSI Utility. It reduces something called input lag and makes the system respond faster. Once it opens, you'll see a list of hardware devices in your system. Find your graphics card. If you have an NVIDIA or AMD GPU, look for its name in the list. Tick the MSI box next to it and then change Interrupt Priority to High. If you're using integrated graphics like Intel UHD or HD, find it too and do the same. Tick the box and set it to high. Once you're done, click Apply, then close the utility. These settings help reduce lag when you move your mouse or press keys, which makes Roblox feel smoother and more responsive. Step 6. Free up RAM with ISLC, Intelligent Standby List, Cleaner. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. RAM is memory that your computer uses while running games. When it gets filled up with unused junk, your games can lag. At the top, you'll see how much memory your system has, e.g. 16,000 megabytes, 32,000 megabytes, etc. In the field that says free memory is lower than, type in half of your total memory. So if you have 16,000 megabytes RAM, type in 8,000. If you have 32,000 megabytes, type in 16,000. Now, check the boxes for Start ISLC Minimized Launch. ISLC on user logon. On the right side, turn on timer resolution and set it to 0.5U. Change the polling rate to 1000. If you're on a slower PC, use 1000 instead. Click the Stop button first, then Start. And finally, purge Standby List. This will clean up your RAM, giving Roblox more room to run smoothly. Step 7. Disable useless startup apps for faster boot and gameplay. When you turn on your PC, a lot of unnecessary apps start running in the background, even if you're not using them. This slows down your system and affects Roblox. To stop them from running automatically, right-click the taskbar and open Task Manager. Go to the Startup tab. You'll see a list of apps that launch when your PC starts. Go through the list and right-click on apps you don't need, like Spotify, Discord, etc., and choose Disable. Only disable apps that you recognize and know you don't need running at startup. Once you've disabled the unwanted programs, restart your PC so the changes apply. If this Roblox FPS boost and lag fix guide helped you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more powerful optimization videos. Drop a comment if it worked for you, and I'll see you in the next video.